next talk is the uh, by the, the, uh, Toshiyuki Mamura uh, from the Riken X. And so I'm the team leader of the large scale power numerical computing technology research team. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the technical challenge of the data science regarding the computer science and the applied mathematics. Because I'm not the sort of expert for the data science, uh, I'm not a sci data scientist and an artist. So uh, from viewpoint of the computer science and the applied math, uh, basically so I graduated with an applied math course. So I will uh, introduce uh, some new project uh, uh, to my team. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show some personal so perspective for the so, uh, data science uh, from the so computer science and applied math. So, oh, sorry, oh, oops. Um, okay, so, so this is, uh, my background is the basically, so I uh, completely uh, spend the time for the uh, development, developing the sort of eigenvalue solver. This is the one of the very, very important sort of numerical soft uh, so not tool for uh, for the so the application users so like it's the uh, con uh, first principle of the uh, uh, dynamic simulation. Uh, so my first experience of the large scale computation was uh, uh, 2005. Uh, the, uh, uh, we used the, uh, the first uh, generation of the Earth simulator. At that time, so we uh, fully diagnosed uh, the uh, the matrix uh, with a, a three hundred thousand uh, dimensional problem. Uh, but there are also when we move uh, when we moved to the sort of weekend X, and so we developed a new uh, code dedicated or uh, or tune up for the K computer. Uh, we uh, successfully diagnosed the very large, huge scale, so 10, oh, no, 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 million, million uh, dimensional or uh, uh, full mat dense matrix. So the, uh, this is sort of my background. So sort of, I have sort of many uh, experience to develop the, uh, the numerical library, especially the eigenvalue uh, computation, and also the uh, collaboration between the, so the uh, material science uh, physics. So, for me, the, uh, the how I can see the so data science. So, okay. So, of course, data science has uh, the term of the science. So, uh, from viewpoint of the science field, so uh, in the so in the morning session, so we had uh, so the good, uh, very nice the talk from the sort of data simulation and the, so the experimental science. So. Uh, these are the so simulation and the so experimental or fields and needs the so, uh, and so they generate the, uh, each uh, experiment shot so the, uh, almost a uh, gigabyte or a tel terabyte of scale or results you know, onto the uh, we need to uh, prepare the so the very hu very huge uh, file system and also the uh, now. Uh, sensing and the data-driven computing is also a uh, very uh, big trend. Uh, uh, it's the uh, sensing devices are uh, already the, uh, set up to the everywhere. So it's like uh, the IoT idea. Uh, the sensing data uh, uh, initiates uh, some computing device and so the, um, the store back to the sort of central centric server and so we try to uh, compute or uh, analyze the uh, new uh, data. So this is the, such a uh, style of data-driven computing. But uh, for the data science, so it's, I have uh, not a uh, good image, so not, not a good image, not, not enough image for, okay, so so-called big data from so the IT business. So AI, so it's a very big trend, so probably so the, everyone here knows in the cloud computing and sensing technology like the new device, the FPGA and so the ASIC. And also the uh, probably so the here so knows the, so the very uh, tec tec technical term for the so data analysis, the very uh, advanced way to the sparse data analysis. Uh, it's includes so the uh, compression of the data space. Okay, so AI, 
Oh, so my, uh, cu uh, my curious part is uh, a game. So oh, the my and the machine history uh, for the, so the board game is very long. Uh, this slide is the board, uh, board from the, the Dr. Yoshizoe from the Riken IP, the Artificial Intelligence Center in the Riken. So he is an expert for the uh, uh, computation of Go and the computation of Shogi game. And he's, uh, he summarized this slide. So the, the, the history is very uh, long. So 1994, uh, the, the Cheka game, so uh, the uh, the machine won the, uh, the human uh, player in the sort of reverse in 1997. And uh, I think uh, so this is a very sens sensational uh, event, uh, topic, uh, epoch uh, at the uh, 1997. So Deep Blue, uh, it beats uh, the, uh, the, uh, the champion of the uh, chess, uh, chess game. And uh, recently, uh, okay, last year, so the, uh, no, no, this is not, not last year, so uh, was uh, uh, several years ago, or the shogi, the Japanese uh, chess, so very uh, typical uh, so Asian so board game, uh, the, uh, so already the computer games so beats the so human uh, top player. And uh, so the sensational so topic epoch, so last year, or the Two years ago was uh, uh, the AlphaGo uh, so programmed by the Google. Uh, it's beats the, the top uh, professional player. Oh, it was a very sensational. So, in the uh, the AlphaGo uh, program, so the two key technology are uh, uh, employed: uh, the searching, so Monte Carlo-based tree search algorithm, and so the deep learning. So Probably so deep learning is or uh, uh, utilize uh, take uh, taking advantage for the uh, the many other uh, uh, industry fields like uh, so the automo uh, autom uh, auto driving the technology and uh, so the uh, face of the human recognition by the uh, the surveillance camera. So uh, the machine power and uh, so the new algorithms so uh, the couple uh, the interact to the new technology to uh, increase the uh, new uh, improve the so new technology like the so artificial intelligence. So and uh, so uh, other uh, some very I'm not sure that this this is a, a scientific story or the, the, uh, scientific fiction. So but uh, but uh, this is a very fi famous uh, book for the singularity is near, so written by the uh, Kurzweil. So uh, singularity, so uh, the computation of uh, machine, uh, so exceeds so the human brain the, of the com uh, processing of power. So uh, in the book, so approximately uh, 2020 or 2020, uh, no, no, 2020. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm not sure that's the exact the exact year. But the, so in the future, so uh, human will be uh, the taking over the uh, the uh, machine uh, 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 artificial intelligence. So uh, it is based on the uh, uh, the expo uh, exponential. Uh, the growth of the computing power, but uh, the, some uh, com computer scientists uh, warned the, uh, the there is a so war of the so movers law, so we cannot expect so much the growth of the sort of computational power. But uh, 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 the Kurzweil uh, uh, noted uh, the computing capacity uh, levels the human brain in the future, and also the he. Uh, Predict or the he he so predicted the some pot, uh, some possibility so we can re uh, engineer the so the uh, human brain uh, in the sort of artificial intelligence we can copy the sort of our brain into the sort of software so we can upload the sort of summer the knowledge to the sort of <coughs> some uh, machine. So it is a very uh, uh, sort of incredible thing, but uh, uh, I'm not uh, uh, believing uh, this 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 one. But uh, 
uh, there is uh, some possibility so like this. And uh, okay, so this is uh, uh, last slide was uh, I told us uh, some uh, the importance for the uh, data uh, science, especially the uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, the back to the, the science. Uh, the scientific uh, simulation and the sort of high performance computing. So, from the viewpoint of this uh, thing, uh, we should uh, think there are the uh, simulation. So, so, for the, so the data science uh, point of view, uh, the conventional HPC uh, becomes a, a data generation, data, data generator. It's very low as so, so the some uh, the device like the device or the some uh, the uh, uh, experiment or something like this. So introducing a data science approach as a to the, the thinking process. So we need to introduce sparse modeling, data simulation. So new technology should be introduced. And uh, for the uh, so next uh, generation supercomputing. So Oh, we expect the exascale computing facility. Uh, the, uh, most of the simulation uh, papers to expect or want to utilize the system uh, by the, the ca capacity computing. So I think this is a, a typical approach. And uh, so parameter study and the grid search, so it's, it's a very typical. And the uh, explanation of the parameter space, uh, it will utilize the uh, in the sort of optimization and the robust design uh, process. And so in the, uh, uh, in such a sort of parameter study, uh, so we need to uh, the proceed uh, the several uh, computational process or the, uh, uh, other, uh, some very, uh, some um, so analyzing the uh, code so step by step. So. So we need to uh, introduce uh, the workflow uh, approach, so like this, so the startup, the, uh, we input the, uh, some data, but uh, the, this data uh, uh, are uh, uh, generated by the uh, large scale simulation code. And so this is uh, 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 used to the, uh, broadcast to the so next uh, uh, process and the so, uh, program, and so we get uh, the final results like this. The, such as the automation, so task and the automation is uh, some, uh, it's plays uh, some important role. So, okay, so uh, this, this slide is sort of just an example for the growing of so the data uh, the morning session, the, so the experimental, okay, so circumstances is the, uh, the, uh, the uh, collider, uh, the, the facility uh, generated uh, uh, the 10 petabytes uh, per year. But uh, we already uh, observe, observed uh, so the exabyte scale of the data uh, transaction on the sort of mobile, uh, mobile phone uh, uh, level yeah so uh, we already uh, have some experience but uh, we 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 don't store the uh, such a so huge amount of data onto the sort of storage uh, just uh, through uh, through the, uh, uh, the somewhere so uh, increasing our data is uh, sort of, uh, in the earth so accelerating is, uh, we need to accelerate the big data processing so uh, multi-core, the GPGP, the FPGA. Uh, but these are the, some uh, some, uh, um, some feasible or uh, uh, choice of the, so the uh, next the present and the next generation of, of computational device. And if you uh, introduce the uh, FPGA as a new device. So the uh, we can summarize the, some the topics. So we need the uh, high uh, abstraction with the computing kernel. So if you, uh, okay, so next slide is a better for this. So if we, uh, uh, 
per, uh, okay, so if we compute the AI and the data analysis using the FPGA, so we need to categorize the sort of kernel types. Of the, uh, okay, so for example, the AI, so deep learning, so it, uh, it requires the convolution and matrix multiplication. So it's a very simple and the typical uh, numerical linear kernel so requires. And the FPGA, uh, okay, so it has a sort of a very uh, number of the uh, the computational cores inside on the sort of uh, the global uh, gate RS system, and, but uh, it has a very small memory uh, system, uh, and uh, it has uh, some program direct uh, uh, I/O, but uh, it has a potentially uh, uh, so generate the uh, I/O uh, device. Uh, in the so FPGA board, so uh, so we have uh, so we can summarize the so some big potential to the, so of the so FPGA to the big data and so AI. So okay, so the uh, low power, so it's low power and the so machine power is an, and the flexibility. So these are the big potential, the advantage of the FPGA. So it is a you know uh, to the uh, uh, any uh, so application, uh, but uh, FPG has uh, some the weak points. So because uh, uh, it needs uh, some uh, very limited the, uh, computation capacity. So compared to the uh, GPU, and also the uh, compilation time is very very huge uh, for the uh, FPGA. So and. Uh, and also, it's difficult to understand the, the uh, language, the dedicated language for the FPGA. So, uh, the uh, popular high-level synthesized uh, programming language like the so OpenShell and the OpenACC is also very strongly so demanded for the, so the uh, FPGA uh, community. Okay, so oh, I only have also a couple of minutes. I'm sorry that uh, uh, I spend so uh, many much time for the uh, uh, so FPGA and so the, the AI. So, okay. So from viewpoint of the mathematics, so the, we need to introduce the more more so powerful toolkit uh, for t uh, dealing with the, so the uh, higher uh, dimensional data. So uh, the tensor. Uh, so tensor can be a uh, uh, utilized in the so, uh, item, uh, item uh, recommendation system. Okay, this is a good example. The so user item tags so three, uh, so triple uh, data space, span, uh, span data space or uh, um, analyzed by the tensor. So, and, uh, but <laughs> the mathematical formulation is uh, uh, very, uh, very uh, complicated, so like this. So uh, the formulation is very simple. So it's very similar to the sort of matrix vector multiplication. Uh, but uh, uh, there are the three terms, and uh, so if you compute the A, B, C, so we need to compute uh, like this the minimization program with the so least square uh, application uh, approximation approach. So uh, for the computing or the uh, decomposition of the, so the t tensor, so the large data, so oh, we spend a lot of time for the, so here. So, of course, uh, F cubic for the second part, Cholesky uh, factorization uh, is uh, the consuming, time consuming part, but uh, uh, in, in case of the, so the, uh, this algorithm, so uh, the risk is, uh, alternative is the risk square approach, so we need to compute this part, first part. This is the most expensive. So it's completely different to the, uh, the matrix uh, computation uh, compute. And it's a new algorithm uh, like this. It's also the, a very uh, complicated one. And so now uh, we are so investigating the uh, so available uh, uh, tensor decomposition uh, software on the K computer. So uh, as far as we know, uh, the, there are three uh, uh, software, uh, three, three software packages 
Uh, one is brought in the CPAPO, the PD, uh, PDM, or the DECA MPR. So, sorry, so the third one is not a or, or CPD chemical or political decomposition uh, program. Uh, but uh, these are the well known, and so the, it's worked on, uh, they, they work and so they distribute the part of the MPI program. Uh, but uh, only the first one uh, works on the K computer because uh, uh, some uh, difficulty in the sort of comparison. Uh, for example, the C++ version is very old in the K computer, and so library is not enough for the uh, ranking phase. And so, although our our team mission for the next year is uh, the porting of this library uh, on onto the so next uh, supercomputer, first K, and the collaborate uh, this uh, the big data analysis toolkit uh, to uh, the big data user or the uh, big data analysis. Okay, I'll skip this one. Okay, so almost the time. So, so, uh, so I'd like to conclude on my talk. So it's just, so my talk is like a sort of review and so the, some remind to the, so the, uh, our team uh, mission to the so next year. So uh, data science and so computer science and applied math, so they are so strongly uh, tied with, ty uh, strongly tied in the, so the simulation and the AICS. Uh, so data science, so, or uh, new competition, uh, it is a new computational science field. So it, it includes ex experimental science, data simulation, artificial intelligence, and uh, changes. And the computer science, so we have so uh, many uh, uh, so, uh, technical issues, so cloud computing, deep learning, low power device, uh, like, so like PGA and the sensing device technology. Uh, Development and the distributed computing, so it's it's a cloud computing, also, uh, and also a new uh, 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 programming framework and also the uh, executing environments like this, and also applied math. So this is on my field. Uh, so the tensor analysis is a very big role uh, in the so the data analysis. It it plays a big role in the data analysis. So and also the uh, the tensor is not the dense data, so it's it's the structure is sparse. So, so we need to uh, into uh, we need to investigate the very best way to uh, implement the sparse data, so compression and the analysis way. Okay, so thank you very much for the, some of my talks. And if you have so the, uh, the other data science topic for the future AICS and so the HPC community. So it's, uh, it's very, very welcome for our future work. Thank you very much.